Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Look at them shiners. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he talked out of here. Yeah. Got him, oh, got him. Oh, she don't put your hand in the water here. What is going on, Kfros? Welcome back to another video here. Today we've set up the shop. We got uh, all the fishing rods, a cooler, an aerator, a bucket. We're picking up. You left the aerator and the bucket. Dude, I literally specifically told him to you. bring those two things. Hey, guess what? You can buy one, baby. Oh my god. All right. We're going to Shiners and we're going to head to a local spot, which is I've never been to this place. Yeah. Apparently it has peacock bass. Y'all know what a peacock is. If we can catch these, they're going to be in our pond. If not, then we completely failed and you won't see this video. So. Let's get it. Look at them shiners. That's what we want. So we're loading up. A bunch of shiners. Some shrimp right there too. Where do you uh, get the shiners from? Shiner Sam? Yes. Oh. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I actually was just asking that to see. Yeah, that's cool. So we're gonna load up on some shiners, which is what's going on back there right now. After that, we'll head to the fishing spot and hopefully catch some peacock bass. Size one, smaller hooks right here. Little gold ones, super light, which will allow the shiner to actually swim without getting weighed down by the hook. And this is gonna do the job today. All right, we got a bucket full of shiners. Very good looking baits here. Hooks, and for good luck, we got a Snickers bar. Ryan! I am trying to film you rude That side sucks, what's up, bud? <laughs> what's up, man? <laughs> Get a nice little hook. Here we go. A good size one. Oh yeah. You ate it? What is it? No freaking way. Let me see. Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Dude, right Dude, what there. The what? Dude, <laughs> smack it. He just stuck a peacock. Dude, Ryan literally looked at me and said, "Don't move." I'm holding the fish in the water while we wait for him to fill up the cooler. But look how pretty that fish is. Beautiful peacock bass in Palm Beach, which is crazy because these aren't usually seen unless you go all the way down south, so to see them here is just awesome. Let them go until the cooler's filled. All right, so I know a lot just happened there. I wasn't rolling on my GoPro while I was, and I was like walking up to Ryan. He saw one on the bank, cast it to it, and it ate off the bat. We're gonna see if we can get more, but to just pull up and catch one right off the bat is a great sign. Oh, man. You got one. Is that, is that enough water for him? No. No, we need more water. Yeah. Hey, GoPro, it's kind of weird. I never use a chest mount. Lots of structure here. I think this could be a good spot for me to get eight. Oh my gosh. That's not a bad fish. <laughs> Yo, falls on. Look a nice Look one. Look how pretty it is, dude. I'm 90% sure that's the male. That was with the female. Yeah, I know. They're definitely, yeah, that means that that's will spawn in your pond. That is so dope, dude. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, dude. Like, so pretty. Look at that hook set. They're so vibrant here. Right in the corner of the mouth. Boom, baby. You. Sweet. All right, Dang. real quick, out of the plank and into the, into the, into the uh, cooler. <laughs> And you meet your wife again. Woo! Dude, he dwarfed the other one, dude. Yo, yeah, let's go, dude. Go, baby. All right, Caferos, that is that for this spot. We've been fishing for about probably like 45 minutes, but we don't have much time. It's currently 5.03. Where did you come <laughs> from? 5.03 in the afternoon, and we need to get home before the sun goes down. Two peacocks in the well. Woo! <laughs> Check them out right there, it's actually a pair. So he caught the female, and right after I was like, you know what, we've been fishing other sides, so I'm like, I'm gonna go back to where he caught that female and see if the male's there. Threw out, reeled up real slow, he came right up behind the bait, boom, ate it. Got the male. So we got the male and the female, both, from wherever, and we're bringing them home, we're gonna put them into, I won't even tell you yet, into one of the ponds. Woo, we're back home at the house. Holy moly, the ducklings are huge. Can you tell the difference? I mean, you literally can't tell the difference. These things are bigger. That's the mom. Those are the two males that we had. Look how big they are. That's crazy. Hi, little ones. And then the little female we have, too. That's Kevin. So you can see the males get a lot bigger. That's why I assume those are two males. Kevin, what up, Kev? Let's feed. Hey, Kev. 
Ready? And there they all go. They're so funny. Baby ducklings. Squeeze through. My little minions, go. Whoop. Can you do it or, or, or is there, there you go. There you go. Up. Uh, ah. Uh, oh, and he made it. It's windy, but this pond has a bunch of tilapia in it. I don't want to put them in there. Now we come over to the 4,000 gallon concrete pond. This, which you all know is loaded with fish. Look at all these guys, look at them all. Fired up, waiting for me to feed. Oh gosh, you don't want to put your hand in the water here. That was the bass! Dude, the bass just ate! I've never seen Little Thump. Little Thump just ate out of my hand for the first time ever. Dude, he ate my fingers. No we need to feed him a shiner with our hand. This is not what we're gonna put the peacocks in either, but I need to hand feed the bass now for the first time ever. Load it up. Load it up. Spakes, spakes. Let's go ham feed a bass, baby. We're about to get Thump 4.0 to eat out of my hand for the very first time. The front toaster looks beautiful. It's like lit up electric blue. I know. Oh my God, they're going for my fingers. All right, a little cup of, cup of baits. No! Oh, oh, oh my gosh! No! Oh! oh. Dude, why does he keep going to my bear? He's gonna get- oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he's so look at your camera. Bro, he literally soaked everything, bro. My camera. <laughs> oh my god, yo, no, I gotta dry this off on your daughter. Yeah, he ate it, dude. It. And he got the Oscar here with the oh tail sticking out of his god. mouth. Was that the Oscar? Dude, the bass just did that. Oh, I, bro, he destroyed it. Dude. That was crazy. Watch how fast he eats this. Ready? Dude. Gone. Oh, oh, oh did he get it? Oh, the bass tried to get it. Oh, oh, oh. 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 The bass is just trying to get it out of his you mouth. You know what I want to do, do while you're here? What? Catch a Paku to see how big they are. Let's do it. Wait, so I catch one. Look, look how excited he is. <laughs> are you serious? I've been asking Paul to do this for so long, bro. Don't do this to me, bro. No, you can't. Come on, dude. <laughs> Stop yeah. playing. No, you can't. If you yes! Want. Yes! I'm catching a Paku today, baby. <laughs> Let's go. I haven't seen how big they are. They grow yeah, a lot. Gotta do it. We'll get into all that in just a second. Let's get these peacocks out of here. I'm going to make this one trip. It's kind of cool because I'll show you. This is the male. Look how beautiful that fish is. The spot on the tail. They use that to actually defend themselves. It looks like another eyeball. That knot on their head right there. See that? That's a male. So the female won't have that. You'll see it's just flat. And a lot of the times the females are smaller. So we got a male and a female here. We want to make this as least stressful as possible, so we're just going to grab them. Look how beautiful. Dang. Look at that. Yeah, so Let's cool. go. Let's go, baby. <laughs> oh, oh, how did you do that? Hold up, hold up. <laughs> we're doing, we're doing. We want to release them both together. Ready? Hey, nice to meet we're you. Gonna, we're going to yeah. put them in before the cow gets us. There he goes. There they go. Oh! <laughs> 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 he literally bugged me so hard. I know, dude. I'm gonna have a bruise on my thigh. <laughs> Bro, he, you know, he literally plowed me. You, you can title this video. <laughs> Ryan gets plowed by a cow. So the peacocks went in over there, male and a female at the exact same time. So they're just swimming around together. Very hard to, you know, film nice and smoothly out here when there's a giant bowl that doesn't really let you do anything at all. Two peacocks, about seven haku, which I think are now huge. I don't even know. I put them in when they were small, and a bunch of tilapia. You know, my encyclopedia. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> the only thing to do now, dude. Don't tell me. Is catch a pocket. You're lying. Yeah. I can do it. Yeah. This is I just want to see how big they are. All right, bro. They're about seven inches when we, when we first put them in. We will pinch the barb of the hook so that it's easily able to come right out of the mouth without harming them. I'm we'll throw... scared to fish on that pond, dude, but I'm yeah. so excited. You're going to have to watch yourself, man. Yeah. This dude. is strictly for experimental purposes on the property. And by the way, this pond is fully enclosed. So FWC, if you're watching or if any of you butthurt individuals watch my videos just to hate and you report me to FWC, this is closed you're and done. it's completely legal what I just did. So good luck. Pinching the barb. Got our cereal, which is gonna be our bait because it's easily hookable. This is Captain Crunch, I think. Yeah. They're eating their hay right now. I just got them fresh bales this morning. Let's go. That is to distract. We need less, least commotion as possible, but chum them up. Fishing yeah. with cereal for Paul's oh, Paku. Dude, that might sink soon. Look at that pocket right there. Oh my God, here we go. Is it sinking? Nope. It came off the hook, I think. It came off the hook and Dang it, dude. Dude, they're smart though. They'll literally come up and weave it. Oh. Just like that. Come on, that's perfect. 
Come on, right there. Right Bring the line up a little bit so it's not in the water so much. The line, the line. Bring it up. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like that. Even higher. Oh, oh he God. ate it off. He ate it off. He ate it off. Dude, he ate it right off. He ate it. He ate it right off the hook. I never knew cereal fishing could be so interesting. I hope you get one of the bigger ones too, because this is bigger and smaller. This is it. Hooking the cereal on. Hooking the cereal. I need one more. Oh, dude. That was a big Come one. On. Dude. Big one, man. Come on, dude. Oh my God. This is so stressful, dude. He's over here using cow poop now. What? The, cow poop. I would literally pay like 20, I'd, I'd pay $30 right now. For a loaf of bread? A, no, not one loaf, uh, literally a piece on my hood. <laughs> That's all it would take, dude. He said I'll pay $30 for a piece of bread right now. Look oh, at that. I just figured it out. I just figured it out. I want to get on the outside of him. Sink it. Yep. That's how you're going to get eight. Got him. Oh, got him. Oh got, no! 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 no. no. Oh, oh my god. Oh my, no! Oh, no! No! Bro. The barb was hooked, dude. You had him stuck for a second there. Dude, I, of course, I'm like holding the rod to the end of the butt, like. No hook set at all. Well, while Ryan tries to catch a puck, he might hook up, but the GoPro's on his chest. Let's see what that's looking like right now. Absolutely nothing. So, <laughs> there is peacocks in here now. We put the two peacocks in here, which I'm super stoked for because this water's not only warm, it's deep, has plenty of bank structure and lots of bait. You know, peacocks love to eat so many thousands and thousands of tilapia and my encyclids are in here, which are two smaller bait fish that they normally eat in the wild as well. So they're gonna be thriving in a small body of water like this. Not too small, but you know, pretty small compared to like what it, got caught in. They'll be able to find food and constantly eat 24 seven. And I'm sure we'll see them in the future. On a sunny day when the water's high and they're on the bank in their bed, cause they're gonna be bedding together. There's a great chance they'll be together and spawn in this pond as well. Oh yeah, mama ducks here to eat our baits now. Might've blew it, man. Nope, didn't. Watch it just <laughs> <laughs> So unfortunately, we didn't catch any Paku. But that doesn't mean that dream is over because I'm gonna make a deal with you. If this video hits 15,000 likes, 15,000 thumbs ups down below. And just for you liking this video, I'm gonna show you a picture of a baby possum. Hopefully that made your day. Hit the like button. If this gets 15,000 likes, we're gonna go back to that pond, you and I, and I'm gonna stick a Paku so we can see how big these things got. Thank you all so much for watching. New peacock bass in the pond. I'm so glad we went out, we went fishing. If you guys enjoy the fishing stuff, let me know in the comments. I could do more of that. <laughs> Oh, pig brawl, pig brawl, huh? If you're like, what the heck, Paul? Why haven't you been uploading every other day like you used to? I'll tell you what. I've been working on the new house a lot. We've been destroying the inside, demolition type stuff. And I'm gonna make one giant video on my vlog channel. So if you're not subscribed to the vlog channel, go down below, subscribe to the vlog channel, and you won't miss that when I do a full demolition video, remodeling that entire house. So I've been doing a lot over there, a lot of other stuff going on. Bear with me, thank you so much for watching today's video though. And myself and the animals, we'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.